combination of heavy fog and a volcanic ash cloud has caused major delays and cancellations of flights out of Perth. Scott Cunningham joins us now from the International Airport. And Scott, it's mostly flights to Bali that have been affected tonight. Lou, that's right. Passengers heading to and from Bali on Jetstar and Virgin flights are mainly being impacted by these delays. There's currently a Virgin flight that is uh, being diverted to Perth. It left from Darwin earlier today, headed for Bali, but uh, the pilot no longer thinks it's safe to fly, so that flight is being diverted back to Perth. Now, Virgin has cancelled four flights today. A further six flights will be cancelled this evening, and then again tomorrow, another four flights will be cancelled. Jetstar has also been forced to ground flights for the third day in a row because of this volcanic ash cloud. Now, passengers who have booked on either Jetstar and Virgin Airlines are being asked to check the website for further details. Mount Rayong near Java erupted on Sunday with the ash cloud drifting towards Bali. It's affected inbound and outbound flights into Denpasar Airport. At least five Jetstar flights were cancelled altogether. Virgin forced to cancel 10 over the next two days. Many more were delayed. Passengers flying from Singapore to Perth faced a wait of more than 15 hours. When we were coming down here, we flew past the cloud in the sky. So it was there, it was volcanic action. They did say that we were going to have, be able to have a hotel stay and then there was nothing available because everything was under renovation. The delay is exacerbated by heavy fog in Perth. This was the city skyline just after sunrise this morning. Hours earlier, it was barely visible except for a few dominant lights. The Weather Bureau says the fog blanketing Perth was at its thickest between midnight and 3am. This was Kareen open space about one o'clock this morning. Cameron Renfray was driving on the Graham Farmer at the same time. His dash cam captured this, the thick fog making it difficult to see just a few metres ahead. The Weather Bureau says the fog was the result of a combination of recent rain, light winds and semi-clear skies. It eventually started lifting around 8am, too late though for many travellers. It's the weather so yeah, we can't control that. Just yes. lost a whole day of a holiday basically. Yes. Not a good start to the honeymoon. No, well, we'll keep positive. Uh, we'll make up for it. <laughs> Scott Cunningham, Nine News.